Hey everyone, welcome back to the grocery guide with your dietitian, Ashley Galloway. Today, I'm giving you the lowdown on snack bars, AKA protein bars, granola bars, breakfast bars, whatever you wanna call them. These bars can either swoop in and prevent a serious case of the hangries or downright cause one. Let's take a look. Many snack bars are made of processed grains, sugar, and other non-nutritive fillers that send your blood sugars on a crazy roller coaster. When you eat a snack bar that's high in sugar and low in fiber, your blood sugars rise and your cells quickly absorb that sugar, leaving you feeling hungry and tired 20 minutes later. Instead, go for a snack bar low in sugar and high in fiber. Fiber slows the absorption of sugar and helps to sustain your energy level, leaving you a happy camper. It's a stretch to call a granola bar healthy when it's covered with caramel and chocolate, pumped with protein isolate, and laden with corn syrup. It's more of a dessert bar at this point, and personally, I'd much rather have a piece of chocolate cake. This kind of snack bar should by no means be considered a wholesome snack that will nourish your body and sustain your energy levels. So to make sure that you're choosing the right bar that will nourish your body, consider these two tips. Tip number one, ingredients should be whole foods. Think trail mix, but package differently. Fruits, nuts, seeds, whole grains like oats, puffed rice or quinoa. These foods pack natural protein and fiber, so you don't need things like protein isolates and chicory root fiber. These foods also contain high levels of disease-fighting vitamins and minerals, nutrients that those fillers just don't have. So the next time you're in a bind and you need to grab something quick, consider one of these bars. Tip number two, be wary of loud claims on the front of the package. To be a savvy shopper, you've got to be a skeptical one. Claims like all natural, 100% whole grains, or double the protein are misleading because those products still contain a ton of fillers and little to no nutrition. Also avoid those snack bars that say they contain only a certain amount of calories. For example, Fiber One 90 calories might only have 90 calories, but those calories are made up of mostly fillers. Fruits, nuts, seeds, and whole grains provide your body with the nutrients it needs for a snack. Don't let boisterous marketing claims hook you like a fish and ruin snack time. Got a favorite whole food snack bar that I didn't mention? Share it with us in a comment below. Thanks for watching. For more tips on how to choose healthier products at the grocery store, be sure to like this page, and I'll see you next time on The Grocery Guide.